Hello, I'm Michael Bend, author of the ABC Darien Reading Program. This video is the first in a series about a really important part of ABC Darien, good error correction. When a student makes an error reading a word, there is some mismatch between the sound she says and the letters on the page. Your job as the teacher is to help the student understand exactly what the mismatch is so that she can correct it. Suppose, for instance, that a student sees the word mop and says map. As an ABC Darien teacher, your simple yet powerful response should be this. You said map with an a ah here, but we have a. Ah. Tap and say and try again, please. This, by the way, is the same procedure you use when you are playing the error game or doing a spelling chain. Here's the basic template for your response. First, you repeat the student's mispronunciation slowly, dragging your finger under the word. Then you point out the mismatch very simply. And finally, you ask the student to tap and say the word and try again. Let's go through a few simple corrections together so you can start applying the template. In the first example, the student looks at the word top and says tap. Using the template, correct this error along with me. You said tap with an a ah here, but we have a. Ah. Tap and say and try again, please. In the next example, the student looks at the word tap and says cap. Once again, uh, make the correction along with me. You said cap with a k here, but we have t. Tap and say and try again, please. And finally, here's an example where the student looks at the word map and says mat. Correct along with me. You said mat with a t here, but we have p. Tap and say and try again, please. Now that you know how the basic ABC Darien error correction goes, let's take a step back and compare that to the kind of correction teachers typically make. One of the most common responses to a reading error is to say something like, look at the word again. The problem with this sort of response is it doesn't really do very much to let the student know what he did wrong. Reading errors all involve some sort of mismatch between letters and sounds. The ABC Darien error correction response, which begins by echoing what the student says, makes sounds part of the conversation right from the beginning, and so it directly and explicitly focuses the student on comparing what he said with what's on the page. In contrast, when a teacher simply tells a student to look at a misread word again, the sounds the student said are not explicitly brought to his attention, and so the teacher isn't directly helping the student to compare what he said with what he saw. If you don't have both sounds and letters, there's nothing for the student to compare and evaluate. In order to apply this basic error correction response easily when teaching, you need to practice a little bit. To do so, go through level A and make a list of errors that a student could make, and then practice responding to these. It won't be long before you will start correcting errors precisely without thinking about it. I think you'll be amazed at how natural the interaction with your students seems. Very good. In the remaining videos in this series on error correction techniques, I'll go over some nuances that will make your teaching even more precise and allow you to handle any sort of reading error that you run into. I also hope to have lots of videos of real kids making real errors and teachers correcting them well. To download a written guide containing the information presented in this video, please go to the web address on the screen and look for the ABC Darien Error Correction Guide. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Happy teaching!